Hey guys, Profe Pablo here, Spanish teacher turned Minecraft engineer. Today we are going to be looking at command blocks. Now this is a new series that I'm doing to help me learn coding, and Minecraft is apparently a great way to learn coding, and a great way to start modding Minecraft, or using code to modify the game, is by using command blocks. Now let me make the case for command blocks real quick. If you're using command blocks to beat the game because you can't beat it normally, then I would suggest go and actually beat the game. But if you've already beaten the game and you're using command blocks to get a little more creative or to learn code, then I think they're great. To start this video, we have to give ourselves a command block by using code. So you go to the little chat window, do a backslash, which is how you start typing out code in Minecraft. And we are going to do give at P, which is the player, the closest player, which is me. And we are going to say command blocks, or command block. And then I want to give my, well, we're on creative. You only have to give yourself one if you're on creative. And actually to use command blocks, you have to be on creative mode. In today's tutorial, we are going to be looking at command blocks used to teleport you. So I'm going to teleport myself to the top of that cave using a command block. Now first what I need to do um, is find out the coordinates of the top of that cave. So let's fly over there. You'll notice I have my coordinates on in the top left. If you don't know how to turn those on, you go into settings until you click show coordinates and make sure that's on. Okay, top of this little thing here. Boom. And my coordinates are 536-103-712. 536-103-712. So you go down to where you want your command block to be. I'm going to put mine in the ground. And then you click the command block. And then you type in TP, which is teleport player. And then you'll notice we have some options down there. I'm going to use at P. That's the nearest player. Two, two the coordinates, five, three, six, which is on one axis, one, zero, three, which is the up and down axis, and then seven, 12. Okay, good. Now this thing needs redstone to activate, as you can see here, needs redstone. Um, and I'm going to put a pressure plate on it to activate it. So when I walk over the pressure plate, it's gonna teleport me. Boom. I can make one that goes back over this way. So I'm, I don't wanna get right on this block because then I'll just be teleported back and forth. So I'm gonna use 556-8780. Let's put it here in the ground. Slash. TP, 556, 80, 780. I'm gonna put my pressure plate there, and now I should be teleported back and forth. Ah, this one's not working. Do you know why? I forgot to tell it who to teleport. There we go. Now it should work. Boom. Teleported, teleported back. I like to use the teleport feature uh, after I beat the game to continue exploring and always have a way back to my home base. If you want to add some extra rules, a cool rule would be you make a portal uh, using the command block, but also using diamond blocks. That way, wherever you go, uh, you have to have enough diamonds to actually activate a portal like this. Uh, and that, I guess that makes it a little bit fairer on survival mode. So yeah, so I would go explore, find diamonds, and when I have enough, I can make a portal that goes back to my home base. Okay, and that is it for our first command block lesson. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.